we have another equation now with carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. We do the carbons first. We have two C's on the left and one C on the right. To balance the C's, we must put a 2 in front of the CO2. The next element we tackle are hydrogens. We have six hydrogens on the left, two hydrogens on the right. In order to get six hydrogens on the right, we must put a big three in front of the water. Now we count up the oxygens on the right. We have two times two, which are four oxygens in here, and one times three, which is three oxygens in the water. So four plus three gives us seven oxygens on the right. You'll notice if we look at the oxygens on the left, we only have two. There's no integer we can multiply two by in order to get seven. So we look at a fraction right here. It's known that seven over two times two is equal to seven. We simply cancel out this two and this two. So what we do is we put the coefficient seven over two right in front of the oxygen. Now we have seven over two times two, which are seven oxygens on the left. And we have seven oxygens on the right. The equation is now balanced. If you don't like fractions, or we're asked not to do it with fractions, we can get rid of seven over two by multiplying by two. In order to keep the equation balanced, if we multiply this substance by two, we have to multiply everything by two. So we multiply all the coefficients by two. One times two is two, seven over two times two is seven, two times two is four, and three times two is six. So we have the coefficients two, seven, four, six. Let's check now. We have four C's on the left, four C's on the right. Six times two, 12 H's on the left, and two times six, 12 H's on the right. Let's count up our oxygens. We have two times seven, which are 14 oxygens on the left, on the right, we have two times four, eight oxygens there, and one times six, six oxygens in the water. That gives us a total of eight plus six, which are 14 oxygens on the right. So everything is now balanced.